What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. Today we're just going to take a quick look at this Enduro 24, the Ecto Trail Truck. Uh, I, to be honest, I wasn't even going to pick this up. I knew it was a regurgitated RGT, Enduro 24, CR24, whatever you want to call them. There's probably 15 different ones on AliExpress with the exact same parts, exact same junk Phillips screws. Um, but I thought, I'm not even going to let Element off that easy. Because there are videos out there hyping this thing when it was announced. And there will be people hyping it up because they got it free and all that. And I thought, I'm not going to let that those videos take over and make a bunch of sales for this. It's the exact same rebranded Enduro 24 that I pretty much hated to start with. Uh, you know... I'm not, these can be decent, I guess. I'm not a fan at all. You guys know if you watch the channel. There's just so many better options out there. Like for 110 bucks or whatever this is, it's like 106, 109 or something than shipping on most places. There's so much better out there. You know, you can put a little more money with it and get the FMS with the two speed, has great electronics. Great ESC, great servo. Everything out of the box is really good. Now, this is, I would argue, a little more 24 scale than this, obviously. You know, so that's going to be a lot of people's points. But the thing is, if you go anywhere to, like, competition or whatever, running 24 scale, people are going to have these and SCX 24s that are stretched and widened to the max. So, uh, you know being all worried about getting a 24 scale is kind of pointless but it is a little smaller probably more along those 24 scale lines but like this thing i just i don't know uh same old stuff i'm not even going to get into specs it's the same thing we've seen a hundred times the only thing they do decent that you know the motor everything's up front it is a chassis mounted servo so that weight's kind of up high it's up front but it's up a little high so i don't know if you're really better off having that motor up front and high or tucking it down low in the belly you know i mean that's a big difference if you take that from here to down here at this scale that's a big drop so uh you know and you can make these capable i'm sure but uh they come with the same old 1s pack these things nobody's going to use that the battery is in the rear so that kind of takes away from and the esc obviously and so that kind of takes away from the weight you have in the front uh i'm not real big on the layout it has the divorce transmission type setup uh it's whatever that doesn't really matter to me my problem with the original Element Enduro is as soon as I put a 2S in it and I put some bigger tires, for one, you have to really widen it because any of the bigger tires, you're all in the shocks and the chassis and stuff here. So once I did all that, I was breaking the dog bones and whatnot in here in the axle, and we still have the same old dog bones in here with bushings phillips head screws everywhere it's a complete waste in my opinion i got this thing for free from a main hobbies for ordering like a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff or whatever some stuff i already needed and they had this little thing going on where you could get one of these free and it's very similar I actually like the layout of this a little better, I think, if you can tell. So the motors drop down lower. It is a smaller motor, but um, these are kind of the same type truck, in my opinion. But I kind of like how this is laid out a little better, I believe. I've never even honestly really ran this, you can tell by looking at it. But it does have the plastic drive shafts with the metal uh, yokes or uh, whatever you call them. 
versus this is all plastic. That's one thing. As soon as I put a 2S in there, I was popping these out. You can see how loose they kind of are in there anyways. So those drive shafts were just toast as soon as I put more power on this and really started straining it anywhere. And there's people out there that love their Enduro 24s. It's good for you. Uh, I'm glad you like it, but it's just really not for me. So my whole point of this video was just to put a video out there to show you guys there's better options. Even the stock SCX24 is 10 times, 1,000 times better than this thing. Um, so many more aftermarket parts available, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I don't even really know what to say about this. It's not for me. Sorry for the people who love it. It is what it is. Uh, I will try to get a little running with this thing. Honestly, I kind of hate to even run it because I'm not going to keep it. But <laughs> we'll get a little running with it. I'll take it over here on the new section of the indoor course I've been working on. And um, we'll throw some running clips in here. You guys let me know what you think about this thing. Uh, to me, you know, it's just another re-release so Element can get money off the 24 game. Uh, same transmitter here. It does have the breakaway transmitter, so it's easy to take with you all along. Like I said, this is a little more 24 scale, but if you're going to go run anywhere that that really matters, most people's going to be running larger trucks, more capable trucks, and you're going to struggle anyways. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I knew this was coming and it's honestly the entire reason why I bought it is just to give a warning to anybody who happens to click on this video. So I'm sure I'm going to tick some people off with this video, but that's what I'm here for. All right, let's go run it. So I'm going to take a quick look at this thing stock 100%, the 1S battery in here, just show the slow crawl on the bench here before we take it to the course so you guys can see it. Uh, it's a little easier to see how it's reacting right here, but um, this is exactly how it comes out of the box. One thing about it is it has a free fax machine attached. As soon as we give it that little bit of throttle, we fire up the old fax machine. Uh, slow crawl is okay here on flat. I'm sure when we start going up this rock, it's not going to be great. But let's see. Not bad, but did you see that little jump when I got right here? Well, we've got the most pressure on that front tire. See, I'm trying to ease up that. I just have to give it more throttle, more throttle. Let's see if we can ease over that. See how it kind of jumps over it? So that's one of my major complaints with these things. You kind of have to just feather the throttle on off and ease over stuff like that instead of just holding a constant slow crawl over it because they are kind of jumpy. And I really don't know if you can even hear me over this thing, but let's check out this FCX right here really quick. Just to show the difference, this is 100% stock truck, brand new, out of the box. Hopefully you can see. See how much more quiet that is. Much better slow crawl. I'm going to start up this rock. And we should be able to pretty much hold a nice slow crawl over the top of this. See, it never launches. When you get right at that peak right there where you're really struggling and you've got to get that torque and that, po that power to get over that, when you do come over it, that's where you have had to wind that thing up so much that it launches over. Whereas this has the nice clean torque all the way through. So we're able to just ease up that. That's a big deal when you're out crawling right there. 
You can see I basically just keep the same throttle and it eases over it. Of course, with the bigger tires, it's gonna go right over top of it easier. But the main factor is that nice, smooth, slow crawl with the torque. There's just not as much torque with that truck. Um, and then also you have your two speed. So you got lots of wheel speed there when you need it. This is all you get, right? Which is not bad. I mean, for the most part, it's not bad, but I think you can tell I'm already on the throttle. You hear it winding up, you hear it dialing. It's not connected yet. still nothing come on dude and then we move so try it again just to show you i'm not doing any funny business because i have people all the time say oh mine crawls just fine mine has plenty slow crawl yeah they will slow crawl but you really have to be feather. And you see, I made, I made that pretty good, so. It's just not as easy to stay clean. There we go. All right, cool. One of the best things with these things is these tires are pretty good for stock tires. They're just really small. So most of the time people change them out and they don't really have any foams in them, so you're gonna get tire fold, but um, they're pretty good tires. I had some sort of... Some sort of bondage going on. You see that rear end shaking? See how that's stuttering? Probably partially just because it has all those bushings in there and you get just extra binding. I don't know. I'll go try to do a couple lines on the course with this. I don't know that it'll do a lot, but we'll see what it'll do. So this thing really struggled on my course here. Um, it just wasn't able to do much of anything i did like the size of it on my course it made my course seem a lot bigger with this actually being more of a 24 scale but it just really um was not fun i just kept having to reposition it and just set it over an obstacle and start new and really wasn't able to pull any of the lines just driving the thing so um it's it just really struggled and i think you'll be able to see that with these clips is I kind of just have to constantly pick it up and reposition it where it needs to be. So you can see how this thing really just struggles. And that was the main reason on the original Ecto I had, um, Enduro 24 I had, I put the larger tires. Um, when you do put larger tires on these, the way they're built, you kind of have to widen it out a bit because the larger tires will hit the springs and kind of get into things to where you really can't turn. So um, I put like some stamped steel wheels on it and some larger tires. And then when I started running the two ass with the larger tires, I just that's when I really started breaking things. I broke drive shaft, I broke the um, axle shaft. And so, you know, it's just a lot that is needed on these trucks. And if you do start upgrading, a lot of times you just run into other issues. Now there's a lot of people that did upgrade them and you know, they love them. And I'm not saying it's not possible, but this truck right here, you can see just a stock truck. And you know, people are gonna say, oh, it's 18 scale. And I get that it is a little bit bigger, the body at least. Um, the wheelbase of these, honestly, is no different than a SCX24 Gladiator. <laughs> so, um, you know, those things, they're not as huge as people make them out to be. 
Um, and like I said, if you're going somewhere to run, most people are going to have stretched out, widened out 24 scales. It's just the way a lot of people go now. So, you know, having the larger rig out of the box really isn't an issue to me. Um, but having a smaller rig like this is an issue because it's just very frustrating. I was just getting very frustrated with this thing on the course, really couldn't get it to do anything hardly. And, uh, just gave up eventually and called it quits so it is what it is you know like i said these they can be made capable but it just takes a lot and to me there's just better options out there for the money All right, so I did try a little bit with this. Now, you know, people are going to say, well, you didn't give it a fair chance. You didn't even do this or you didn't do that or you didn't upgrade it. I'm not saying it can't be fun and you can't make it better. I'm just trying to show the options of, like, why would you start with this platform at 105 10 bucks? Maybe you can get them for 75 85 bucks. That's what the original ones are kind of going for now and start with this platform when you can go to this at 150 and have so much more straight out of the box and be so much more capable now i know this is much smaller it's a totally different truck it's not even really you can't compare these two because th this is more like a 24 scale honestly and that's more of an 18th everybody always says that but even comparing this against like the SCX24, it's just um, it's just too much needed. It's got bushings everywhere. These Phillips head screws that are going to strip, they, they're horrible. Uh, I had issues with my original E24. The dog bones, I broke them. Drive shafts, I broke them. Uh, just lots of problems. It's just a long road starting here to try to get to this or even a SEX 24 and the thing is like if you're just going to get this and run it by yourself at home or you're going to get two or three of them for your family and that's all you're going to do is just you know go out everybody has the same truck I do like the size kind of 
um, the way it gets so much, my course feels so much bigger because this is so small, but this couldn't do a lot on my course right now. I would have to kind of re readjust my course a bit. Um, but if you're going to go out anywhere and run 24s and like any kind of comp or for the most part anywhere, just to go have fun at a hobby shop or something, most people are going to have an SCX24 or an FCX24 and you're going to be outgunned a little bit with this. That's just my opinion. So I'm just not really sure why you would start here for a hundred dollars when it's going to take three times that to be <laughs> decent, honestly, uh, swapping all the bearings out is going to cost you, you know, 20, 30 bucks probably. And then ESC motor, all that, uh, it's just not worth it. You can get one of these straight out of the box. I don't care what you buy. You can buy an Axial, the SCX24 out of the box, way better. So it is what it is. I know I'll catch some hate because somebody's going to fuss at me for not giving this a fair chance, but I gave Element a fair chance with the original E24, and I was very let down with it. This is the exact same thing, so I'm not wasting my time with it. All right, so uh, I'll find somebody who needs a – little 24 and i'll hook them up with this or we'll do something but uh you guys let me know what you think this is just not for me so i wanted to make this video just to give everybody a fair warning don't take the hype uh you know where the truth's at so uh anyways i appreciate everybody watching don't forget to like subscribe click the bell peace